All right, time to finally go to that desert. Get that treasure Gertie's been talking about, huh? See what all the hubbub's about. See how all, all the tall tales have been spun about. Time to go get the, get the treasure, the mystery element. The element of light. But yeah, it's, of course, it's imperative to actually beat in the game, so gotta get it. Yeah, I, I don't bother with the cactus flower because, you know, you, you don't... I, I'm never going to go back to the island again. You know, if all things go well, I'm just going to beat the last level and be done with the game. I haven't uh, tried it yet, so I don't know if I'm properly... Uh, uh, I was about to say leveled, but not really any levels in this game, but you know what I mean. Properly stat if fied. But yeah, I I still I don't I, I don't think you can go to the this island until af until after the fifth year. But I think you have to get the river back to normal. I think I'm not entirely positive on that. Or maybe it was the fourth year. Anyway, L Luda Luda I don't know. Uh, you if you're a Selkie, you have no problems here. But if you're any other race, for every person you talk to, they'll take uh, some of your gill. Unless you have like a hundred or less, then they won't take anything. So that's why I don't talk to anyone, because I don't want them taking my money. Even though I don't really have anything to spend it on anymore. Yeah, yeah I leave the map by accident. I always I always see the, you're now going to the world map thing by accident, but when it's too late, you know? But uh, the last, one of the last parts of the princess uh, quest is uh, here, which I'm going to go back and do right now. Because I do finally actually get the quest entirely done uh, in this video. I mean, at, but at the end of the day, can you really call it a quest? Because, um, like, because, like, your, the main, your character doesn't really do anything in this quest. He, he just kind of wanders around the world and just happening to run into the princess or her guard, you know, like... You don't really play any role in any of it. Usually the two are like arguing with each other or they're just kind of like thinking out loud and not even really acknowledging your presence. And usually when they do, they're just like, hey, we're having a conversation here. Bug off. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel very satisfying because you don't really do a goddamn thing. Basically, all you're doing is just watching it unfold. Can you really call that a quest? I don't know. But yeah, I, I decided just to get a Moogle stamp just for shits and giggles. And I did figure out that yes, you do use the D-pad to make Mog move. But all I could do was knock him down. But uh, the thing is though, my GameCube controller's uh, kind of busted. It's you know old, it's gotten wear and tear. So the D-pad is uh, not exactly in the best condition. So it's, it's probably just that the D-pad wasn't uh, you know, just wasn't registering right because I couldn't get him to get back up on his feet. You know, I was trying to, I was pressing like all the buttons of the D pad, well, you know, all the buttons, you know what I mean, all the directions, and I could not get him to stand back up. But I, I just wanted to make sure to give him a bit of a haircut cause since we're going to the desert to help him not uh, wear out as much. I mean, he still does a little bit, but I, I probably could have done a better job with the haircut, but I was feeling lazy and didn't want to make you watch it for that long. Yeah, I, I don't bother painting him. I don't know, cause I, I don't really, I don't usually have good. I've tr I tried that in the past, like you know, outside, outside of this playthrough, but I n I don't usually have much luck combining spells with him, cause he'll usually do it like in a situation where, like I you know I can't cast a spell, like I need to like retreat at that moment or whatever, or like fighting a boss, and the boss is uh the boss is about to attack, so I can't stop him and cast a spell or I'll get hit. That sort of thing. Anyway, finally the Lenari Desert. The second to last level, well, at least in the order I'm doing it, the second to last level of the game. So yeah. And there's a smaller version of Maggie, chilling in the shade. Well, that's not very nice. Oh wow, you yeah, got way to keep a closed mind. Uh huh. The desert glittered like a sea of jewels under that shimmering sun. Yeah, it's called sand, sweetheart. 
Jeez, what kind of desert are they going on? The deserts I look like I've seen before don't look like a fucking sea of jewels, man. I want to go to this desert. Looks cool. Now uh, I do do fast forwarding in this level too for most of the parts, but I do play things normally when I'm going through and uh, getting the the hidden element, the secret, the unknown element. Okay, let's do this. All right, yeah. But of course, again, because you're not missing too much with my fast forward. Because the thing is, you have to have basically, you have to be able to cast like most of the spells. So most of this is me looking for like uh, a fire magicite. And unfortunately, I had a lot of, uh, or I didn't have any luck with it. It took me forever to get one. Because I need to be able to cast fire to get the unknown element. Here are these guys, these giant bird monsters called uh, Zoos, uh, Z-U, I assume they're, it's pronounced Zoo, I don't know. And Cactar, my favorite Final Fantasy enemy. And of course, then again, I, as I've mentioned, I don't, I'm not too well versed in the, in Final Fantasy, so. Yeah, I haven't exactly seen too many enemies. I just, I, I think I mentioned this before at the Moss Shit Manor, the first time I went through, is that, that old Newgrounds, uh, Flash series with the Tom Barry and Cactar. I love that. I loved that when I was a kid. That was funny shit. Well, you know, for, you know, when I was, you know, in middle school or whatever. But yeah, there's that cactus. Uh, I actually uh, get a bit lost trying to find it again because I'm an idiot. But, um, yeah, you gotta, you have to, uh, do a certain amount of tasks in a certain order. And then you'll get the element, basically. But I'll show it all off. And regular, well, this isn't even that fast. It's not like this is too fast to follow. I couldn't get, I couldn't, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13, whatever, that I'm using, it uh, wouldn't let me make it any faster. So, so yeah, this is, uh, this is the, as fast as I could fast forward through this part. So, but yeah, this, uh, the desert doesn't really have too much going on for it. Well, actually, no. Yeah, there are these little pit, these uh, quicksand uh, pits, but the way these work is they'll send you cr around the level, and one or two of them will actually send you to this new area, which uh, well, you where you need to go to get to the boss for one thing, and also I just use this place to try and find the fire magicite. And yeah, still not having too much luck, because you need to cast uh, thunder, blizzard, fire, holy, and gravity. Uh, get the hidden element or unknown element well it is hidden so I suppose that's not entirely inaccurate it is hidden technically but yeah now unfortunately I, I've I had no luck running into yeah if you hit that uh, that cactus like with a physical attack it might drop one of those cactus flowers or whatever the boat guy was talking about now uh, like I was saying I uh, I've had bad luck with random events because I don't run into any in this video and I don't you know and I have very few movements to go until I reach the last level of the game so it's unlikely I'll run into any more though honestly aside from Gertie and the Black Knight event chains none of them are really that important to see you know like a lot of them don't even have like a satisfying kind of ending like the one with like the farmers like the the not the selkies whatever the other human race is called like they like I don't think they're they really have an ending really. There's no real story going on. It's just kind of seeing them fuddle about. Yeah, I like went right past the cactus I was supposed to go to, like an idiot. But I figured it out soon enough. There we go. Now yeah, this is going back to normal. I know I'm about there. All right, here we go. Whoa. Yeah, I don't really under I don't understand how all this works. Because why does all this stuff reveal the unknown element? There, it, that's the problem with this game. A lot of things aren't really explained very much. Like, okay, doing all these menial tasks reveals this unknown element, but why? Why does casting lightning on a cactus, gravity on a, a fallen uh, camp tent, uh, setting fire to a rock, casting blizzard on other rocks, and... Uh, casting holy on like a dying flower. Why does that unle unleash this, you know, super duper important unknown element exactly? 
there's no real explanation for it. I mean, I guess I'm just look, I'm nitpicking and looking too much into things, but I don't know. Because the game offers zero explanation as to why this like series of random events is uh, critical to revealing this, you know, hidden super secret fifth element that's needed to get to a certain area of the map. You know, I don't know. Now, like an idiot, I, um, so what you're supposed to do is cast fire on a rock, um, a mushroom rock, and I go to the wrong one. Because I go to, like, the right, like, uh, general area, but I go to the wrong rock. And the, because, like, the two, these two rocks are, like, right next to each other. Yeah, and fuck off. Come on, Moth, you piece of shit. God, I'm gonna just leave you in there. See ya. <laughs> now, like, uh... Yeah, so it's like around this area, it says, like in the guidebook, it shows on the map. God, Mog, you are so slow. Yeah, I thought you could go up that ramp. So I, yeah, so I see this rock, I'm like, oh yeah, that must be it. I kept casting fire on it and nothing happened. Yeah, I thought I wasn't getting, like, it centered. But no, it's this one, like, five steps away. Yeah, so what the fuck? Why would you have two mushroom rocks in the same area when you only need to, like, uh, see one? Or, like, uh, cast fire on one and one's only important. Only one is important. Like, why would you do that? Oh yeah, not much going on with this level. Aside from the hidden element, there's really nothing really to, you know, go on here. I mean, the enemies are, are kind of have a lot of health, but none of them are really that much of a pain to deal with. They they just can't take a bit of time to kill. That's all it is really. Not too much of a not too much of a big deal. But yeah, next is casting Blizzard on three rocks and uh, doing it in order from uh, smallest to biggest. Yeah. So. Uh, and the boss isn't too hard. I mean, uh, it's pretty rare that I actually have any trouble with the bosses in this game. They tend to be pretty easy, really. You know, even the, you know, even the ones in the latest levels of the game are pretty simple. Like the uh, like Lich, he was just he was simple as hell. Yeah, I don't think he ever even hit me a single time, cause he's a pussy. Yeah, I thought the rocks were supposed to be closer grouped together, but no, not really. Yeah, I don't know why. Again, I don't really know how all this works. It just kind of does, just for there to be some kind of obscure puzzle, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can even do this without Gertie revealing all the steps or not. I never tried, I don't think. But, yeah. I kind of wish the, the the Gertie event where he's dressed as Hurdy, I kind of wish that happened last rather than the Bandit one. Because that was so anticlimactic. You know, the one with where he's dressed as Hurdy was way more dramatic and, you know, revealed a bit about the source of the miasma, actually. It gave it a little bit of a hint. But, you know... And also, uh, Dinam, I don't get to finish his side quest because I don't get, like, enough letters. Because I, you know, I'm going to go to the final level after this. But uh, before that, bam, there we go. And you just throw the chalice in. And boom, unknown element. Yeah, and you can leave the level if you want with these hot spots. But, yeah, there we go. Now it's the unknown element. So I can now go through any Miasma stream without issue. So, all you have to do is just be careful not to change the element back to something else by accident. Now, um, what was I saying? Uh, I was saying something about Hurdy or Gurdy. Oh, yeah, oh no, Denam. Uh, yeah, I don't actually get to finish his side quest, or if you can even call it that, really. Because I don't go to enough levels for him to send all his letters, so I'll just tell you what happens. Like, he sends, like, this, like, like half-written letter. It's like, the words are all jumbled. Like, obviously, he's, like... Don't like dying and then if you go to the swamp level and kill one of those fish enemies sometimes they'll drop a worn bandana with only after the letters are all sent implying he became a monster or got eaten so he fucking dies basically can't say I miss him but you know can't say I really give a shit about him but whatever all right now we can go to the boss uh, uh, he he was uh, 
Okay, I, I didn't have too much trouble, like I said, but he was a he was a kind of a pain in other ways. Yeah, all you have to do is hit these. I thought you had to like cast fire or something. Or holy. I don't know why. But no, you just have to hit them with your whatever weapon you have. That's all it is. Nothing more <laughs> complicated than that. I'm just an idiot. Yeah, there, see, that's all it is. Just hit it. Fucking Katar, fuck off. <laughs> I just love looking at him running at me. Uh, it's so silly. And I think those things are called chimeras. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Aren't chimeras more lion like? I, mean, I guess you could argue his face is kind of like a lion. I don't know. I don't know. Chimeras are Greek mythology, right? I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure. What, what, what is the origin of chimera? Yeah, Greek mythology. Yeah. Ah, oh, those wacky Greeks, they come up with the weirdest fucking shit. Uh, and uh, this boss is a bit unique in that you have to fight a series of uh, enemies in order to actually get the boss to come out and fight you. It's just uh, different forms of this scorpion enemy, so it's nothing too big of it. Yeah, you know, nothing too major. Just gotta take out like three waves of these guys and you can fight the boss. Yeah, this is the only boss that does anything like this. It's weird. Yes, and then the sand will sink down to your trap, and you get to fight the boss. Yeah, let's, let's get the thunder. Uh, Square Enix sure do, does love its uh, palace swaps, don't, don't they? Yeah, why bother making new enemies when you just repaint old ones, right? You know, make them icy, or thundery, or fiery, or rocky. Yeah. It's perfect, it's genius. Ah, look, there's a little cave opening there. I wonder what's on I wonder what's in there. It's not the boss, it's the tree, the murder tree. But uh yeah, I couldn't really tell. These things are these yeah, these are rock enemies. I just couldn't really tell from their coloration, I don't know. Yeah, but thankfully they all get grouped together, so I'm able to hit them all at once. <laughs> it's actually kinda of funny. Yeah, I don't know how I, I just managed to hit them all at once, like five times in a row, until they finally die. Yeah, see, I hate rock enemies so much. They're such a pain in the ass. Can't use spells on them, so you gotta use your weapon. All right, now I can fight the boss. The boss is called the ant lion, named after a real desert animal, a bug. Thankfully, they're not as big as this guy. That would fucking suck. Quick, you can just go into the cave. Why are you lingering? Well, time to just stand here and look dramatic. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, it's ugly. And kind of hairy. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> like Granny pitch your cheeks. No, Grandma, stop. You probably wouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, for some reason, the guidebook told me to cast gravity on it and then holy and then use blizzard. But I don't I, I don't know if that was like a mistype because it didn't really do anything. So I, I don't know. It was weird. Gravity didn't really do anything to it. Yeah, I think it might have been some kind of weird mistype. And it, did, it did do a noticeable amount of damage, though, so whatever. Yeah, but instead here I'll just use a bunch of uh, blizzard, uh, uh, blizzard raw spells. I got to hurry up, God! I don't know why I'm taking all these like unneeded steps. What the fuck? What? What do we do? What? Oh, uh, I guess I wanted a holy spell too. I don't know. I, 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 I recorded this days ago, so I don't really, I can't remember what my thought process was here. Not a very good one, that's for sure. So yeah, this is the antlion guy. He does, his attacks do some heavy damage, and they can be kind of hard to dodge, because the air, arena is a bit cramped, and he's always up in your face, you know, like that. Like, it, like I, I have a hard time dodging those. But the, not as much as the, not the Sam Breath as much, that's a bit easier to dodge. But yeah, but uh, in the first phase at least, he doesn't have too many attacks. 
most of the time he does the sand breath or the the pincers uh that seriously i really have a hard time dodging that shit god yeah and unfortunately the sand breath has a a freeze effect but it doesn't do any damage so that's good yeah again the guidebook said to just get it behind him because he'll take forever to turn around well obviously that was not true god the guidebook just keeps failing me i don't know why i keep using it and then again, it does have, you know, maps of the levels, so I suppose that's a, you know, something I need to know. Seriously, God, I hate this thing. I mean, it's, 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 it's more bothersome than, like, hard, I would say, really. Like, I don't know, what's the difference between a, an annoying boss and a hard boss? Because I'm having no troubles landing hits on him and whittling down his health. He's just annoying to deal with. So, I don't know, would you consider that hard or just annoying? Oh yeah, and this guy also only has one, uh, one, uh, little mook, one scorpion. I guess all the others just died in that, uh, little gauntlet back there. Yeah, and after this, I'll, uh, finish up the princess side quest, quote-unquote. Which I can, again, I hardly consider to be a quest in the first place. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he also has that dig his lace in the ground attack. Yeah, I noticed something that the game stops talking about memories for a while. Oh yeah, he also has this, I'm not really sure what to call it, a thunder gun spell, maybe? I don't know. But it's annoying, whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, the game doesn't talk about memories that much anymore. For the most part, it really only talked about them in the, uh, Gertie, Hurdy, and uh, Black Knight events. And then sometimes random NPCs would talk about it. But they don't seem to be doing that as much anymore. At least the ones I've been talking to recently have not really been referencing, you know, memories very much or forgetfulness. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like for a while, it kind of like hammers it into your head this whole memory thing, but then it just kind of stops after a while. I don't know. Like maybe if I talked to some of the selkies in town, they would have mentioned forgetting stuff, but I don't know. Because from what I understand, it, it like it's worse as the years go by, this whole thing with memories and people forgetting things. Yeah, for such an important level, it has such such a, like, like a boss that, I, I'm trying to think of the best way to put this, like a boss that isn't very, like, sacred, I guess? Because this is like the resting place of the, you know, the, the divine unknown element, and then the boss is just a giant bug. Not even like a like a sacred bug of any kind, like a beetle or something, but an uh, antlion. I don't know, were antlions seen as like sacred or anything like beetles were? Like, I'm pretty sure beetles were in Egyptian culture, you know, ancient Egyptian culture, I think. Hey, he's dead. Can I eat it? Oh, no, he's turning into sand or something. Or sinking into the sand. God, man, my character is going to starve to death at this point. I'm just going to have to eat Mog. Did I make that joke already? I forgot. I've been so forgetful lately, I hate it. God. I keep remembering faces, but I can't attach names to them. I just... A anyway. So... This may be the last drop of myrrh I ever get. Because you don't get one from the final level, obviously. Because... Well, as you could probably guess, the last level deals with you... Uh, finding out the source of the miasma. You know, I, I'm pretty sure it was kind of obvious that that would be the case. So, yeah. So, uh, clearly, you won't be getting myrrh from there. Oh, man. And I love the the light crystal. It's nice looking. Very pretty. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just call it a bunch of different things. Hidden element, unknown element, question mark element, light element. I call it very many, I call it a lot of different things, but it's all the same shit. Oh, I have locked, unlocked the secret of light. Light, light, light. Dear diary, today I had to eat Mog because I am starving. All the bosses I kill turn to dust. Yeah, just give me my letter. Is it my family? No, it's the Nam, of course. Because apparently my family just doesn't care about writing to me anymore. Yeah, seriously, just fucking stop, you idiot. 
God, you're gonna kill yourself, quite literally. Because uh, no, no, no matter how you reply, he'll still die. He'll still, uh, you know, vanish and die. No matter what options you pick, so it's entirely pointless. What uh, what you decide to pick. So why bother giving us the option? Because again, you get no. It it doesn't change the ending at all. I forgot what artifact I get here. Oh yeah, I only have one option for some reason. Yeah, strength plus three. I didn't have any other choice. Yeah, but now to wrap up the princess side quest. And then uh, that'll be it for this video. So, yeah, the next video should hopefully be the last one. The only reason it won't be is if I'm just woefully underleveled or understat-id. But, um... The only other way is I might split the final video into two videos. If it's like over an hour long, then I might just split it in half. You know, or something. <laughs> what? Okay, he wasn't even talking to you. Yeah, they're all damn selkies. They're all lazy motherfuckers. Every last one of them. Oh, dude, you can't do that. It's racist. Yeah, leaving the area by land, specifically by land, triggers the this. So yeah, this is the kind of the big final cutscene for this poor excuse for a side quest. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. The guy on the right. I don't know who he is. Is that the Nom? I don't think it is. Yeah, because he's in the swamp, right? Yeah, for a princess, you sure dress like a whore. You know that. Yeah, this this is a, kind of a painful cussing to uh, sit through. It's all about this princess that we don't know. So far, we don't, so like we really know nothing about her except she ran away. So now we're supposed to be forced to watch like a five minute cutscene talking about how she like wanted to see the world and the castle was so cramped and blah blah blah. And uh, I don't know. Like, am I am I really supposed to give a shit about her? You can't force us to care about a character like this, you know? One that we've, like, never, like, actually had a conversation with. One that we didn't really get to see do much, except run around the map. Uh, yeah, I guess you want to be poetic. It could be like that, but whatever. The, bat the, the king just forgot to pay the electric bill. That's it, man. Yeah, so basically, it's kind of like Disney princesses. I have everything I could ever need, but I want more. I want to see the world, blah, blah, blah. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, but again, I don't, I don't give a, sh a single shit about this bitch. <laughs> Seriously. Like, cause again, basically, all, I've, all my interactions with her have been just me traveling the world trying to find this little... Yeah. Trying to find her and uh, uh, basically just l watching her like argue with that knight or just kind of talking to herself. Yeah, and apparently she envies Crystal Caravanners. Dumbass. I would never envy people that risk their lives for like that, man. I don't envy soldiers, even though I appreciate what they do. But I don't envy them. Okay, I guess that's a little harsh to say. I mean, I guess I could maybe see some people would envy people like that. But I don't. That's all I'm saying. Uh, pr uh, Radiance. I'm pretty sure that's the Crystal Chalices. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I talked about this. So, I wonder if like, there are like crystals that people can just put in their pockets to travel. Like the Bandits or the Black Knight. Like, does he just have like a crystal like in his pocket that allows him to just fight off the Miasma? I wonder. Oh, God. Excuse me. This cutscene is just so boring. I don't even know who this other Selkie is supposed to be. Where's her bodyguard or whatever? Uh-huh. Yeah, you do that, honey. Now, please go home so I can go on with my life. Yeah, apparently, apparently, your the main character was like eavesdropping from the bushes or something. <laughs> yeah, dear diary, today I eavesdropped on a sexy little princess. Yeah, that didn't sound right. <laughs> a sexy little princess. Ugh. I mean, she's got the fur bra going on there. It's weird. 
Yeah, all these selkies, they dress like whores. Well, the females, at least. Yeah, I don't know if, t if any of the selkies will spare you from the whole pickpocketing, but I don't take the chance. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the east side. I had to go back to that uh, one town near the Moschit Manor and the Tita Village. Um, yeah, you gotta go back there to get your reward of 100,000 gil. Uh, not really worth it, but you know, whatever. It's nice, I suppose. Even It's weird I get a reward at all, considering I didn't even do anything. I didn't bring the princess home. I didn't, I didn't do a fucking thing. I was just chilling. I was just kind of following them and kind of stalking them, almost. More like an accidental stalking, I suppose. But either way, I didn't actually do anything. Yep, so... How about settle I... Oh, excuse me. I said all I... Uh, uh, sorry, I just... Uh, that cutscene was so quiet and boring. It just kind of made, put me to sleep. Yeah, Carl. I remember him because I remember his name. Hey, Carl. Yeah, I swore I saw like a figure standing by the riverbank. I thought it might have been Hurdy, so I went back, but no, it was nothing. It was just me seeing things. I'm not sure if Hurdy or Gertie... Like, appear in, like, settlements or towns or anywhere. Because I remember Hurdy appeared by the riverside once, but I'm not sure if he or, or Gertie ever do that again at any point. I'm not, I, I don't know. So, hopefully, like, hopefully not. Otherwise, I would have missed out on anything they might have had to say. That, that might have been important to the lore, you know? But, yep, so, the, like, like I said, with the unknown element, I can just go through any miasma stream without any issues. Yep, I was supposed to need a wind element to get through, but fuck you. I got the unknown element, motherfucker. But it's it's pretty much just light, I'm sure. I can't think of anything else it would be. Holy, I guess? But that's kind of the same thing as light, really. At least in, you know, in like RPGs and stuff. Especially JRPGs. Yeah, so let's watch this cutscene, which is actually kind of awkward. It's almost kind of awkward, really. Just because it's just so surreal, almost, in a way. Just watch. You'll see what I mean. Okay, maybe surreal is the wrong word. But, like, they're all like, oh, my God, the Tipa caravan. Oh, wait, there's Hurdy. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice him the first time. When I was recording this, I didn't even notice he was there. Oh, jeez. Okay, so her name is Fiona. Okay. I don't remember if it was ever mentioned before. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, princess. <laughs> yeah, but again, she's kind of treating me like I like I didn't do anything. Like I don't understand. What? Okay. I, I don't understand. I didn't do anything. I didn't bring you home. Why are you rewarding me? I Okay, you know what? Whatever. Apparently she caught glimpses of my journey, but none of the important stuff, like fighting monsters. Yeah, I assume if you refuse it, you just don't get the prize. I didn't want to risk it, so I just said, yeah, give me, the, give me the prize. God, I wish I had gone back and seen if Gertie was there. I mean, Hurdy, rather, because I didn't even notice him. Because I just, I just left him like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. God, I hope he I hope he wasn't there, cause I could have gone and talked to him. Could have been important. Shit. Ah, oh, God. Now I'm. Ugh. Now I feel awful. I don't know. Maybe the wiki will say something on whether he was there or not. Uh, let's see. Uh. Uh. Let's see if it mentions whether he's uh, there or not. Let's see. Uh. Da -da. Uh, well, it doesn't say anything about that. About him appearing in any settlements, but... Hmm. Then again, the the wiki is a, a tad bit lacking, so... It won't surprise me if they just didn't mention that. Hmm. Well, hopefully I, couldn't, I could not have talked to him, otherwise I would have missed out. I mean, I guess I could go back and check, because I don't go into any levels. I don't know. I'll maybe I'll I'll check off screen. I guess. 
and uh, see if he's there. And well, if he is there, then I'll you know record it. But otherwise, I'll just do that off screen if he's not there. So yeah, at the beginning of the next video, if you don't seem like hurdy at all, it means he just wasn't at that one specific area. If he was, if he's anywhere else, I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not about to check every town for him. I'm not that desperate. Cause let's be honest, he probably would have just said something kind of like cryptic. Like, oh, let the memories and the light guide you on your path, blah, blah, blah. You know, just probably something cryptic and generic like that. Let's be honest here. But yeah, about to go to the final level. I, I'm, I'm ready for this to be over. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to be playing Paper Mario after this. A bit more, uh, you know, more dialogue and character to kind of, you know, work off of in terms of commentary. Yeah, but no, he just says the same shit. This stupid little Moogle. Alright. Well, I might as well just cut it off here. I'm not going to go into the unknown element of uh, my ass in stream. So I'm just going to cut it off here. I'm going to just let the video play until I go and read the journals like I usually do. So next time I'm going to tackle the last level, hopefully, and succeed. So I will see you then.